There are a variety of different reasons that you might want to add a texture to your image. In this case, I want to add a texture so that I can kind of blend the smooth bamboo box into the rougher, coarser paper texture behind. I also want to add a secondary texture to add some water drops on top. The easiest way to blend two images together, and in fact, let's go ahead and make this paper texture visible, is to simply use a blend mode. And you'll notice that these blend modes are grouped together. So the top group of blend modes will always make a darker image because it's taking the darker of the values of all of the different layers that are being blended. If I select from the next group, my image is always going to get lighter. If I select, however, from the third group, now I'm able to add a little bit of contrast in my image because Photoshop's splitting up the image, the darks will get darker and the lights will get lighter. Let's start with overlay, although I think that effect is a little bit too harsh, so I might want to step it down to soft light. If I wanted to step it down even more, of course, I could use the opacity slider. But for now, let's go ahead and just zoom in a little bit to see the before and after. So here it is with the texture applied, and here it is without the texture. So I like the way that the texture is being added to the bamboo. It also is being added to the background, which is kind of breaking up that coarse texture. And I don't even mind that it's being added to the snails. So let's go ahead and zoom out. The only thing that might be bothering me is the fact that it also took on this bluish cast. But I'm not really going to worry about that because we can see that this next layer that I'm going to add is quite yellow. And so when I overlay the yellow on top of the blue, it's going to sort of negate the color shift of the blue. So here are my raindrops. Again, I'll use the blend mode and then come down to overlay. I think that's a little too harsh, so let's select soft light. By the way, there's some keyboard shortcuts. If you tap the V key so that you have the Move tool, you can then move down or up through the blend modes using the Shift key and the Plus key in order to take you down through the blend modes or the Minus key to take you up through the blend modes. Now, let's zoom in again here. Now, I like the way that the water droplets are being added to the box and also to the background, but in this case, I don't like the way that they're being added to the snails. So I'll zoom out, I'll tap the L key to grab my lasso tool, and then I'm going to make a rough selection here just around the snails. Of course, when I get back to the beginning here, I can simply release my mouse to connect that last side. But I need to soften the edge of this selection, so underneath the Select menu, we'll choose Modify and then Feather. And I want to add a rather large feather, maybe around 100 pixels. And that'll just make sure that we don't see a really sharp edge between the area that we're going to manipulate and the area that we're not. Now, my first instinct might be to add a layer mask, but watch what happens. If I add a layer mask, first of all, it comes in inverted, but that's no problem. On the Properties panel, we can invert that. But you'll notice that not only are the raindrops hidden, but the yellow color cast is also hidden. So it makes it very obvious that I'm hiding this layer in that area. So let's do this instead. I'm going to delete this layer mask and then use the Select menu to reselect that selection that I just made. And this time, instead of adding a mask to hide the layer, all I'm going to do is go to the Filter menu, choose Blur, and then Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to blur the area inside of the snails. So you'll notice that I get a preview here in Gaussian Blur, but if I position my cursor over in the snail area, I've got that square. If I click there, it displays that area here in the preview. So now we can see that this nice, subtle transition, that, that feather that I added, is allowing the inside area here to blur, but the outside area out of the selection is remaining untouched. So we'll click OK. I'll go ahead and deselect. And now by toggling on and off the eye icon, we can see before and after. And the raindrops are only visible around the snails, not on top of them. So there you go, an easy way to use blend modes in Photoshop in order to quickly add textures to your image.